Some of you have probably seen the Mormon Church's sex abuse scandal. It's really, really awful. And I just want to clarify that this is not just in the states. This is not just happening in areas that have high concentrations of Mormons. This is happening internationally too. When I lived in France, there were two cases that come to mind immediately. One where it was a couple and the wife was being forced and coerced into doing acts that she did not want to participate in with her husband. And when she went to go talk to the bishop about it, the bishop punished her and he got zero punishments despite our wording his wife because they needed enough worthy priesthood holders or they would have to have their congregation be diminished from a ward into what is the Mormons call a branch, meaning that they're smaller, they probably have less funding, and they wanted to keep their ward status. So he got no punishments and she nearly got excommunicated. The second story involves a lot of women in France. There was a man oh, by the Swiss French border who was contacting as many female ex-Mormons as he could find in France. And he was married and had a bunch of kids and he was sending these completely inappropriate sexual solicitations to these women, trying to convince them to meet him at hotels and do stuff. To my knowledge, all of the women that I knew personally were telling him no, but they were really uncomfortable with this. It was getting to the point where it was becoming harassment. He would not leave them alone. And then he would start threatening them and he would threaten them as well that should they decide to go and tell anybody about this, nobody would believe them because they were just dirty apostates. And they're obviously gonna believe him because he's a worthy priesthood holder. The sexual predator's brother was stake president at that time. And so that's a very high position of power in the Mormon church. And he decided that the best solution to this would not to be called to call the police or punish him in any way, but rather to give him a calling in the stake presidency. So to put him in a very high position of power, hoping that the pressure would get him to straighten things out a bit. At this point, I'd already left the church, but I did help an active member draft a letter directly to the first presidency, asking them for help in this situation, because clearly, despite the fact that people were calling the state president and being like, you cannot do this, this man is a sexual predator, you cannot put him in a position of authority, uh, he was not listening, he didn't care. So this letter detailed, uh, the exact threats that he'd been sending to these women, the sexual acts he was explicitly trying to get them to participate in. We actually got a response back from the first presidency saying that they were not going to intervene or stop the abuse that was happening all over France at this point by this one man. And instead, that if we had any problems, we could just talk to the state president about it, the sexual predator's brother who responded to the sexual predation by putting this man in a position of authority to like, get the spirit to push the sexual predator out of him? I don't know. But this is happening all over the world. Don't think this is just like a Utah problem.